it's for nothing, right? Like, <laughs> to the Auto Alex channel, you join Taylor Hetherington and I at Letchworth Motor Auctions. Today is Saturday. Rory is not here, which is why the footage looks really shit because it's on my phone. There is a classic car auction that's about to start right now. So join us, where we're gonna get carried away and buy loads of shit. So we've just done lot one, which was a nice Nissan Micra S, and we're now on lot two which is BMW Z3, I might give it a bid. Yeah? What are you going to bid up to? I don't know. Not a lot, because it's a bit crap, but I like it. 1.9, uh, estimates 500 quid to 12. Right. There you go. Oh, what's the next 750, you know it's true. 750, did you just win that for 750 pounds? <laughs> So this is provisionally your new car? Yeah, 750 Okay, pounds. shall we have a quick walk around? It's on there. I mean, it is on there. Is it crap or is it all right? I can fix all of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 16 valve. Ooh. That's nice, I like that. I'm happy with that. Mm. Right. If that works, I'm happy. Because I can, I can tart up the rest of it. So Taylor said to me yesterday, I've got to sell so many cars, I've got to sell so much shit, I'm not buying any more cars. The second car that goes through the auction is bought. <laughs> but there's a lot of interesting stuff. And also this Mazda MX-5, uh, 1,937 miles. From you? From you, wow. yeah. I like this. Volvo V70R all-wheel drive. Yeah, that is nice. That's, That's really nice. nice. And it's got an estimate of 1,500 quid to two and a half. Oh. What a great car to take to Switzerland in the snow. Indeed, yeah. There is so much cool stuff here. I'm really excited, so let's, um, let's carry on a little bit with the auction. I can't believe I've just provisionally bought this. It's, it's yeah. Oh, you still roll this? <laughs> Before we bid on more cars at the auction, now is the perfect time to show off my Honda S2000 and tell you about this week's video sponsor, Avalon King, who, by the way, have a massive Black Friday sale on. They've just introduced their Armour Shield Light Fast Ceramic Spray, which is perfect for people like me. What, do you mean fucking lazy? Taylor, do you mind? After cleaning your car, which my old Honda desperately needed after sitting for five years, applying Avalon King's Armour Shield Light couldn't be easier. You can apply it wet or dry and all you need to do is apply it to the surface and into a microfiber towel. Then smooth in using a crosshatch pattern, flip the towel and wipe it dry. Armour Shield Lite features all the benefits of a ceramic coating but with no curing time needed and offers three to six months of protection. What's more, you can apply it to all exterior surfaces, including lights, wheels and glass. So now that we've coated the entire car, let us now check out its new hydrophobic properties. What did you just call me? I said hydrophobic. Oh, carry on. And now a quick before, where the water sticks to the body, and after, where the water simply glides off in round, perfectly formed droplets. Now, how easy was that? Before we head back to the auction, a reminder that Avalon King are running a massive Black Friday sale with up to 50% off. So follow the link in the description below and protect your car the easy way and in time for winter. Okay, so that Volvo V70R is now going under the hammer. Do you want it? I don't want it. I, don't, I do want it, but I don't want it. For that, Volvo. that is cheap. That is actually really cheap. With the Volvo sold, let's see how much the super low mileage MX-5 goes for. Calling it on sale, take a chance. It's on sale at 9.5 on the end. 9,500 pounds. If you don't like it, sir, I'm going to sell it. Last chance, it's on the end at 9,500 pounds. We're currently at, I think, lot 27. Lot 27. We're just having another look through the catalog, and Taylor has found another car that he wants to buy. It's a Porsche. But not just any Porsche, this is a Boxster S, 3.2, high mileage, 170, yeah. 175,000, and it's rubbish. So I like it. My car, the one I want, the XJR, which is over there, is uh, lot 49. So if Taylor gets lot 48, and I get lot 49, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? And then we can drive away in our Jaguar and our Ford. Indeed. It's really, really good fun. So 
if you want to do something not shit on a Saturday and then go to an auction, an auction like this one at Letchworth, the classics, and then buy some shit that you can't afford, like we're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you buy that, Rory is going to be so jealous. You join us now at live bidding for the high mileage Boxster S. At 2000. Wow. You've got bid lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh uh, my, you didn't mean to do that, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep rolling, shit. keep rolling, because the next just car is by XJ Art Auto. Oh, oh my god, you just put, oh my god. Congratulations. I don't know. Well, at least if I don't buy something for the video, you've bought something. You've bought two cars. And they're both <laughs> rapids. And they've bought two convertibles <laughs> in the middle of winter. <laughs> which is the best time to buy. Come on, guys. That is a low starting point. I need to get to my nose. Well, I've got like a nod now. He knows it. Is this mine? I'll doubt my hand. I've just bought myself an extra R. I don't know why I bought it. It's something to do, isn't it? Oh, we f***ing oh, oh, I told my missus this morning, I was like, I might buy a car today. She's like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> We're going to see you soon on YouTube again. Yes. <laughs> I just I just bought that XJR. <gasps> you bought a boxer and a BMW and I bought an XJR. <laughs> yes. Anyway, should we go check it out? Let's go check it out. Alright, let's go. Okay, so this is the Jaguar XJR that I provisionally won for three and a half grand. The reserve is four thousand pounds. So my mate Adam who works here is gonna to speak to the owner and he says he should be happy with three and a half. But Chris, who's holding the camera, first thing you said was like, oh my God, it's lovely. Yeah, I like it. It's really nice in here. Um, there is not much sign of wear and tear. And don't forget, it's got a four litre, straight six, supercharged engine with well over 300 horsepower. Hopefully I get it for what I bid and then there's auction fees on top. So I'll probably end up spending about three, seven fifty. But, I was gonna go up to five grand for this car. So happy days so far. Anyway, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, so the man is back. We've got it done. The Four grand? The owner, yes, the owners have to get right involved with it. Yeah. And he didn't want to sell it to what we've done. We've done it! All right. I'll dare you around. We're getting the fake work done. There we go. I've just bought myself a Jaguar XJR. <laughs> You join us a few days later, today is Monday. I bought the car with Taylor and my friend Chris on Saturday. Strangely enough, both of us have woken up today with flat caps. It's amazing. It is amazing. Let's put it on the lift and then have a look at the damage underneath. Because this is a four grand, including fees, XJR. I think this is cheap. I think it's cheap. And these do suffer with rust, so we'll do a quick health check. Okay, shall we have a look at the engine? Rory, do you want to see oh, the engine? I want to see the engine. Come on then, come on then. This has got so many lovely bits on it, including a hard-on Carmon. Carmon Harden. Sound system. And it's got really nice ashtrays as well. Show them the ashtrays, Rory. Where are the ashtrays? Oh, in, the, in the rear door. Oh. The, the action of the ashtray. <gasps> Look I've at the action. Yet. Press the button. It's nice. Oh! Oh, wow. It's nice, that isn't is it? Really nice. Rory, have you seen the subwoofer in the rear parcel Look shelf? Look at the subwoofer. Look at that. Yeah, it'd be good to play a bit of 90s bangers on in Shall this. Shall we have a look in the boot as well? Because we've got a massive boot in there. It's actually not that big, but right. one of my favourite features. That's nice. It's it's big, but it's not like five series touring big. You could get a couple of people in there. Right, you there could. we go. Let's I'm get. Glad you Shall we see if we can fit a tailor in there? No, I got in the boot the other no, day. No, come on, yeah. Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Let's yeah. see if we can fit a tailor in there. <laughs> oh no, no, wait. We need to do this like a snuff movie. Oh. Right. Q movie title sequence. 
Get a poop! Get a poop! Get a poop, mate! Get a poop! Get a f***ing poop! Get a poop! Shut up, get in there! Oh, God! Get a poop! Oh! Go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah? You're not supposed to laugh, you're supposed to scream. Do you know what? Yeah? This is actually really comfortable. Is it? Yeah. All right. Ow! Can we just talk about how immaculate the interior is? Yes. Uh, Rory, have a, have a Rory, look inside. The, the car, the interior is not immaculate. The oh, shit. Oh. It's all right, it's rubber, it's rubber, it's rubber. The car is immaculate. But this, this is an auction car. Yeah. yeah. 140 odd thousand miles and it looks lovely. The only kind of real signifier of the mileage is the steering wheel, but that can all be sorted out. And the lever is really nice and soft as well. It's very yeah. supple. The seats. Yeah, it's it very is really similar nice. to my gut in it a lot of ways. Very nice. Supple. Right, let's close that. And then, do you, Rory, want to see a four litre, straight six, supercharged motor? Yeah. This yeah. is really nice. Ready, three, two, one. Oh! Oh my God. Look at it. Isn't it big? Isn't it long? And the engine is also <laughs> big and long. It's it looks nice. like the engine out of an aeroplane. It does, yeah. That is massive. And I love how XJR supercharged is in red, emblazoned yes. on the supercharger. Does when this make supercharger noises? <gasps> Let's find out. Look at it move! Yeah? Can I take the air filter out? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> that is nice. My drag. Oh, Rory. Yeah? The best feature on this car that oh. I've spotted. If you go down here, Rory. Oh, this is nice. Right. What am I looking at? This section here. Okay. Right, ready? Yeah. Oh! It's yes. That is really nice. A full complement of tools. Wait, is nothing actually missing? There is nothing missing. Even the bulbs of light. Oh. Is that for doing your tyre pressures? Oh. It is, is yeah. It? That's a tyre pressure yeah. gauge. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Look, shall we see if it does another tune? Hey, I'm probably like I'm supposed to. Watch out for. I've not even practiced. The XJ is a car that I've always admired, but I never thought I'd own, because I never really... I don't really like British cars, to be honest. What? Yeah, it doesn't do it for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but I Aston like German Mike. cars. Bentley? No, not fast. You Genuinely remember, not. remember, Rory, he is German. Yeah. Also, as good as British cars can be, some of them can be rubbish. Favourite feature, aesthetically, is the wheels. They're like the XJ220 wheels, similar. They are so old school, aren't they? They are They're very beautiful. Cool. They are absolutely stunning. And it's got four new Toyo tyres, hasn't it? Matching. Yeah. Why has this been put for an auction? There's well, we'll put it on the ramp and then maybe there'll be a massive hole. There, there is a little bit of crash damage. I say little bit, it's, it's the corner here. That's not really crash damage. Well, no. it's been crashed That's into more something. That's of a, a brush. That is the worst bit of bodywork. But that, that can That's be not really crash easy. damage though, is it? That's more of a brush. I'd wow. say, like they've brushed. out of all your cars, this is probably the best condition. This is me. Give it time, Rory. <laughs> We're about to find out what's going on underneath. But no, so we know the engine sounds great <laughs> without the air filter, the supercharger mm. really whines. I want to explore that more. Yeah. I really do. And I know that the Drive Tribe guys, they've got an XK8R? XKR. XKR, sorry, XKR. And they're doing manual swap. Uh, and theirs is the V8 supercharged. So maybe there's a little bit of collaboration that we can do. Inline six versus V8. That be, could be quite interesting. I actually like the fact that this is a straight six supercharged and not a V8. Because yeah. I think these are a bit rarer, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And straight six, you can't go wrong with a straight six. Mm. Like, a straight six is our bulletproof. Yeah. Also, the fact that it's a four litre straight six. Yeah. Like, I don't know of Look any others. The size of it. And it is beautiful. And the yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, shall we get it on the lift and then have a look underneath? Yeah. All right. And then that's where everything will probably go wrong. Glimpse underneath. Oh no, don't say anything. And it looks quite clean. <gasps> oh, phew, Jesus Christ. Well, it's got a little bit of an oil misting. What? It's got the original Jaguar exhaust on it. Why is it not f***ed? 
Oh no, not on this. Oh yeah, that is the original one. Where this, there's gotta be something wrong with it. Like, why would you put a car like this through auction? So this car previously was owned by a guy who owns a body shop, apparently. So I don't know if he got it cheap, fixed up parts of the body. It's got Bill Stein shocks on it all round. Literally all four of them, they're all matching. And they don't look that old either. I yeah. think you might have actually done well here. Really? What, Is it what, in what? neutral? Yes. I'm going to do a test. Shall oh, we okay. see if it's got limits that it did? Yeah. <gasps> Hold that wheel. <gasps> this has got a limited slip diff. The way to tell if a car's got a limited slip diff, usually, if you turn one wheel and the other wheel turns the opposite way, yeah. it usually means it's an open diff. Yeah. If it turns the same way, it's got resistance to this wheel, which usually means it's limited slip. If you hold that wheel, and there's a certain amount of resistance, which yeah, there is, yeah. that's actually fairly stiff to turn. That means it's got a limited slip diff. Do you know what? This is actually, you've somehow not bought a shit box for once. Like even all of this, all the chassis looks straight. There's, uh, I mean, there's that's just a surface, bit surface corrosion. Isn't it? it looks like it's had a bit of under sealing in yeah. certain places, but not a full wax oil. It's got new front calipers on it, it's got new Bilstein shocks all around. These have got a lot of grease points on them, so there's a lot of grease nipples, and they all look like they've been greased. The belts look new. The alternator looks new as well, and the belts. It's missing a rubber grommet in the bottom. Oh, f sake. So that, this, this is why it was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely though, it's actually in excellent condition. Yeah. You can tell it's been looked after because it's got four matching tires on it. They're all pretty new. You know, it's obviously needed a caliper at some point. Instead yeah. of doing one, they've done a pair. Yeah. It's obviously needed a shock at some point. Instead of doing one, they've done a full set. Mm. It's what we as car enthusiasts like to do. If yeah, something yeah. needs replacing, we usually either upgrade it or do it as a set. You know, yeah. it's been cared for. Yeah. We know that it drives good. We know that it looks good. Yeah. What's the next step then, Alex? Drift it. No. Burnout. Eating it. Da -da. Dino! We're going to take this to Auto Sportivo and then uh, get it dino to find out if the engine is also as good as the car looks outside and underneath. Predictions? I'm going to say 30 horsepower down. Okay. I think that's reasonable. I'd say about the same. Yeah. I'd say maybe 10 horsepower down. All right. I'm going, go, so. I'm going to go for a final dino result of 310. Yeah. Put it this way, so long as it is better than the Drive Tribe XKR. Did you see the results on that? No. So that should be making about 380. It made about 280. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, what have you done? I'm going to phone him. And then drag I'll phone him. I feel, and a, then drag race. I feel a little challenge coming on. Yeah. All right. Let's dine out. Okay, so welcome everybody to the interior of my new Jaguar XJR. It is raining, which means that we need to try one thing. Can the car do a burnout? We're in sport mode. Traction control has been switched off. Foot on the brake, accelerate. Yep, that is, that is burning tires right there. Yeah! <laughs> Amazing. I've bought myself a four grand Jaguar tire smoker. Isn't that wonderful? It is quite leery as well. Yes, the brakes are really rubbish. The steering is woolly and not particularly communicative, but don't forget, this isn't a car to smash on a B road. This is a car to drive on the motorway at 150 miles an hour, which it will probably do all day long. I can't say that I've ever wanted to own a Jaguar, but now that I do, I get it. It's cool. And the fact that you know, it's a six cylinder supercharged four liter. I don't know any other car that has that configuration. It's really elegant. It's solid from what I know. Okay, granted it's a big car. It's a very long car as well, but I mean, it certainly does shift. I just cannot believe that I paid four grand for this car, including auction fees. It actually blows my mind. And this is yet another interesting, quirky car to join my fleet. I now have 11 cars, would you believe it? but I think this definitely fits in because it is different. I've never owned a luxury car like this. I've never owned a supercharged car, which is really cool. 
Oh, this thing is wicked. The suspension is all spot on. Nothing feels out of place. I got into this car expecting it to drive like this and I'm happy that I'm not disappointed. Mm. Seats are great. Visibility is also wonderful. Oh, it's special. When's the last time you saw not only a Jaguar XJR, but just a Jaguar XJ? A properly old man's car, but you know, with an exhaust and with a proper air filter, I think we can make this quite leery, don't you? I now have a four cylinder, a five cylinder, a six cylinder. I have diesels, I have petrols, I have turbocharged. And now for the first time, I've got a car with a supercharger. And yes, it's a drag. Oh <laughs> God, that feels good. Join me now at Jaguar Specialist Auto Sportivo. Wait, no, 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 no. It's Italian. No. Yeah, the reason we're here, Rory, is because they've got a dyno and they're not far from Taylor's unit. So we've taken the Jag, the XJR, here, chucked it on the dyno, and we're going to find out how much power this car does not make. As a reminder, out of the box, 322 horsepower. The temperature gauge is very much in the red for quite a lot of the journey. So we have a sticking thermostat and maybe a sensor's buggered as well because the, the gauge is just doing quite a lot of that, isn't it? So the heater has to be on full blast. That blower has to blow its life out. Otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. If, if, oh, if we break that engine, I'm actually gonna be mortified because I do quite like that car. I really like that car. You really like that car. This is a bit of you, Rory, isn't it? And you join me now with Mr. Mike Fernie from Drive Tribe. And um, Mike, as we know, you dynoed your supercharged V8 XKR recently. Would you like to remind everyone of the final power figure that you got? It was about 90 horsepower down, 288 was the figure with oil pissing out of the rocker covers. Okay, excellent. So um, as you know, Mike, the XJR that I've bought recently, out of the box, 322 horsepower. What is your prediction? Okay, I'm going to say 285. I will be incredibly embarrassed if given two cylinders less you put me, but I'm willing to see. Okay, perfect. All right, Mike Fernie, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Never a chore. Okay, so now is the time of reckoning for the XJR. If it's anywhere near 300, I'll be impressed and very surprised. Yeah, indeed, because that run just gave my 27-year-old £4,000 auction Jaguar XJR a power figure of 309 horsepower. With that in mind, there was one person I had to call back. Yeah, so we've just dynoed it, and the good news is that the engine didn't blow up. And the even better news is that the car makes... Wait for it. You're nowhere near knives, are you? No, no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, 309 horsepower. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That is impressive. Isn't How much it? How did that car cost me? Four grand. Same, same price as yours. Wow. So I, I've got a lot of work to do then. That's, that's amazing. That's only what, 11 down? Yeah, about that. Yeah, you're 11 down. Okay, well, fair play. Alex won Mike nil, but. We bought 450 from our car when we're finished. By going to a manual, especially that automatic gearbox saps power. So give me a month and I'll be absolutely hammering you into the dirt. Okay, fine. Uh, I can smell a drag race. Absolutely. <laughs> bring Richard along as well. Absolutely. Sounds good, mate. All right, we'll enjoy Sainsbury's or whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, I'm in the pan pile now. Okay, good luck with that. Right then, so there you have it. I not only Bought a car at auction on Saturday. I've also test driven it. We've checked it over and we know that it is probably one of the best cars I've ever bought in my life. Right, Rory? It definitely is the best car you've ever bought. And for four grand, it is also definitely one of the heaviest cars I've ever bought. Um, about 1.8 tons. She's a heavy old girl. And we have finished at my good friends at Auto Sportivo on the dyno. And as we know, 309 horsepower. Happy days. Rory, also, you're very happy with this purchase, aren't you? Oh yeah, this is my car. Well, 
We're going to talk figures. Eight, eight grand, I'll doubt you around. But I'm going to let you do a test drive back to Taylor's unit. Rory is going to drive this car back. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so uh, from me, from everyone here at Autosportivo, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to Autosportivo as well for Ferrari and Fiat things. We will see you next time, right? Yeah. Okay, Rory, get in. I'll hold the box. There you go, it's so easy. Do, do you right, know, you don't say, know say goodbye. Close the video. Close the video. Bye. Oh, sorry. There you go. Yeah, okay. Bye, everyone. See, look, this is, you do Bye, everyone. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>